everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kim and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of my bookcase club if you're wondering how I got this look then I will post it up in the cards and down below in the description box I was so excited about how this eye look came uh, about and turned out so I wanted to go on and film it so I didn't waste it and just do that one look with it in one video so say hey this box came in so it's time to unbox it so let's get on into the unboxing just like normal i will have the information for the box down below this is a box that i purchased um, on my own every month this is not a sponsored video of course it comes out of my own pocket but enough of all of that if you're interested check that link down below and let's get on into this box so i flipped the tape as normal help open it up and then you have the tissue paper with all of their social media on it so let's get into these books okay so we're back to our normal hardback books so the first one this is the man in the tree by sage walker so again another sci-fi slash fantasy type of book. So let's read what this one is going to be about. Our last hope of survival lies in space, but will one death doom us? Aboard the seed ship Kybel, uh, incident analyst Helt Borison, uh, Borison is the closest thing that the organization has to a security officer. But he doesn't think that it'll be a big part of his job, as all the candidates have been carefully screened. Everything is set for a successful launch, and then someone is found hanging. Fear and paranoia spread as the death begins to look more and more like a murder. And Helt is the only one who can prevent a murderer from sabotaging the entire mission. Definitely sounds interesting. Again, I'm going to have a poll at the end of this video for you guys to choose which one comes up on next month's uh, TBR. So, yeah, so that's book number one, choice number one. All right, so they've switched it up. <laughs> so this is uh, Skull Sworn by Brian uh, Stavely, I believe. So Skull Sworn. Very odd. It looks like it's a marketplace, fantasy style type of thing going on on the cover. So let's check out what this one is also going to be about. Pyre Lecatter is not, to her mind, an assassin, not a murderer. She is a priestess. At least she will be once she passes her final trial. The problem isn't the killing. The problem, rather, is love. For to complete her trial, Pyre has 14 days to kill the seven people enumerated in an ancient song, including the one who made your mind and body sing with love, who will not come again. Pyre isn't sure she's ever been in love, and if she fails to find someone who can draw such passion from her, or fails to kill that someone, her order will give her to their god, the god of death. Pyre is not afraid to die, but she hates to fail, and so, as her trial is set to begin, she returns to the city of her birth in the hope of finding love, and in ending it on the edge of her sword. Okay, well that definitely sounds very interesting, you know, you're searching for love only to kill it. So, very interesting. So, skull sworn. Alright, so this is option number two. So again, you guys can please take the poll at the end of this video um, and choose which one you are most interested in me reading first and putting on to my uh, next month's TBR for July. Uh, that will help me out. Sometimes it's hard for me to choose which of the ones out of my boxes I want to read. They both sound interesting in both ways. There's murder in both of them. So it would definitely really help me out if you guys can take that poll. <laughs> All right. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments down below um, which one you think would be the most interesting. If you've read any of these authors, that would be also a good uh, 
knowledge to have as well. Again, take the poll. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a great one. Bye. Thank you.